Zoro, Frieza, Uncle Ruckus? We thought they were unstoppable when it came to hate, when it came to racism. But there's a new champion. He has arisen. Someone far greater. The Section 8 Slayer, Suguru Ghetto. If you don't have cursed energy, this man is beefing with you, bro. He don't like smart people, no seasoning people, basketball people, or builder people. But how did bro get like this? Shut up! That's why I made this video. Duh. So let's cover the racist life of Suguru Ghetto. Satoru, it's not nice to pick on the weak, you know? Can I ask? Any chance the charges are fake? Nope. You're really going to kill all non-Jujutsu sorcerers now? You know that's impossible! You see, Ghetto used to be a chill dude. He was, you know what I'm saying, kayaking. He be eating sometimes. He be violating retired old citizens for no reason. Honestly, kind of deserved it. I don't like how he looks, but there was one problem. Toji Fushiguro. Excuse me, but have we met before? Yeah, we have. You see Toji Fushiguro? He's what they call built differently. He don't play with anyone. He pulled a sword out of a worm and blitzed Ghetto in Ultra 4K HD, then kicked him like Bruce Lee into a spin. The blessing of parentage. But even with that blessing, you were both beaten by a monkey like me who can't even use cursed techniques. You have to really take the time to research and understand what just happened, all right? He just lost to a man with no badges, no battle pass, no takeover. The emotion he's feeling is called devastation. It's called true pain. This man is suffering. So now he sees the world for what it truly is. Ghetto! He started beefing with every human on planet Earth. This moment turned him into the minority hunter, the black air force collector, the projects destroyer, the do-rag collector, the KFC clapper, the Kool-Aid kidnapper, the section eight slayer. Shout out to my comments for these, by the way. Y'all are kind of racist, though. Isn't that right, Mrs. Sato? Uh, it's Saito, actually. No, your name is Mrs. Sato. I've decided Sato is a better name than Saito. Suguru treats humans like Minecraft dogs, changing their name tags. He has a sanctuary for humans, but he just disrespects them constantly. Filthy monkey who can't even use jujutsu. What is that stuff you're spraying everywhere? Disinfecting deodorant. I don't want everyone to breathe in the monkey smell. This might be the craziest clip of all time. He just sprayed one, two, three, four sprays of Axe deodorant spray on. Do y'all know what that is? Have you ever been in a high school changing room after PE? That's all you can smell, you can't breathe? Your eyes are dry? You're almost dead inside from that many sprays, bro. It's crazy. People who use Axe deodorant are genuinely terrorist. Like, I'm being thrilled, they have to go to jail. And then this man poses for a flick with a baddie like, he has racist riz, I don't even know what that is, like, should I try this out sometimes? This dude comes in begging for his life, and Ghetto just refuses. He watches bro get his face sucked off by a curse. Wait, hold on, hold on. We can repurpose this curse. Let me get my hand on one of those, let me get one of those. I'm gonna need one for something else though. The time is here, my beloved family. Let's lower the curtain on the age of monkeys and build a paradise for jujutsu sorcerers. He really built an elite team of racists. He has the Avengers. He has the 2016 XXL Freestyle lineup. He has the Dream Team NBA team, bro. He's going crazy. He pulled up in a stork to recruit some more do-rag collectors. And anyone who didn't comply simply got packed up. He used his toesy woesies to pick up a spear and snipe a literal panda right through his body. He packed one, two, three high school students, all for the sake of destroying so-called monkeys. This man's gonna fight a prodigy and his demon Pokemon. He was kinda going crazy though, honestly. He was cooking something, something nasty. He hit the weave move into the air, came down swinging like he was really snapping. And I love this fight because it's straight action. This needs to happen more in anime. And everything was good until... Huh? Gojo, yes, Gojo's the answer to everything in JJK. He looks so annoying. I don't know how that's possible, but like, he looks annoying. Do you have any last words? No matter what anyone tells you, I hate those monkeys. There's no way those were his last words. He took it to the grave. He hates those monkeys. Like, who even is that? Me? You talking about me? But you, Stas, but you, Stas, but you, Stas. Is this really where the story ends? No, bruh. That's why you have to keep on watching. He comes back to life and he's still racist. He goes on a coffee date and orders no coffee. 
he's simply there to violate with the gang. They start cooking, and I mean the people. They cook everyone for no reason. These are civilians, what do they do? Where's Gojo when you need him? Where is Gojo? He really rides with a group of thugs, a group of criminals, a group of gangsters. They need to be locked up and I have all the evidence to convict them right now. This dude turned a high school boy into a gargoyle, but what's even worse, he's emo. This dude started violating a bird and a bunch of mid high school students. You know, this kind of reminds me. Do you guys remember high school? Back when you were popular? Everyone loved you? You were the only one in her life. What am I even talking about? This other criminal is literally a black man. And this other one, bro, try to body some high school girls. Like, what are you doing? Who is his team? They are full of monsters, and he's responsible. Like, if I punch my little brother, and I say, go sell this meth to Darren Watkins on 55th Street in the Bronx, I'm responsible for Darren Watkins' overdose. After a long day of disrespecting monkeys, he goes to the beach to chill, hang out, and plot. Plot on who? Gate close. Yes, you're seeing this correctly. He caught this man Gojo like a shiny Pokemon with a Master Ball and added him to his inventory, to his Pokédeck. It's crazy out here. Maybe I should mention, you know how I said he came back to life? It's not actually him. It's someone else inside his body who just happens to have the same level of racism, the same motive. He is the racist vessel. Wait, wait, wait. Before this video ends, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload ever like or comment to support the video i respond to most comments so it's not a waste of your time my discord's also in the description and if you subscribe you're now formally invited to the birdhouse that's right i've been wandering in the woods and i found a secret location that i cannot disclose unless you subscribe anyways there's a source where that wears like panties on his face or something and he gains some powers now it's his anime debut so i thought he was gonna go crazy i was wrong <laughs> Yeah, bro casually turned into Toji Fushiguro. There's no way! Who is this man, bro? Who is this all-star lineup? This man Ghetto showing no love. Remember that blonde guy from earlier? He's back at it, beating down women. He charged up that kick like Deku. No, 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 no. I haven't been myself recently. I made a My Hero Academia reference. Someone help me. Anyways, bro threw his sword and knocked out Nobara. I thought her thing was like she takes a lot of damage and like she's fine, but I mean, whatever, bro. He stabbed this girl in the leg and started saying, Oh, sorry. Bro, what's wrong with this man, bro? He started emoting right there. And all I'm gonna say is, it didn't last long for him. The number of your allies and their locations. I told you, I don't know. Anyways, the Sugiro Ghetto making the Avengers of racism and having them do the most devious evil jobs, I gotta say, He's the do-rag destroyer, or at least a contender that needs to be talked about and looked at more, you know what I'm saying? He's up there. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.